The Griffin, you say? I've heard the name. Rumor has it your man is eager to test his claws. Aye, and on no easy target. He means to assault Belthar's wall from the Alamegan side. What does the Griffin possibly hope to gain from such an attack? From what I understand, he wants the fires of war to spread to Eorzea. And for that, he needs to control the border with Gridania. So... He means to spark a conflict between the Alliance and the Imperial forces stationed in Alamigo. To have Eorzea's armies aid in the liberation effort, whether they will it or no. His plan is flawed. Even should the Resistance succeed in occupying the Wall, they would not be able to... Be that as it may, if there is even a chance that this scheme could bring about an escalation in hostilities between Eorzea and the Empire, the Alliance must be informed. Agreed. I should depart for Limsa Liminsa forthwith and seek an audience with the Admiral. Thancred, Uldar is yours. Alphano and Alize, make haste to the Twelveswood and notify the Elder Seedseer of the danger to Gridania. She would duly call a council of the Alliance leaders, whom you must be ready to receive. You will be our voice in Ishgard. Explain the situation to Sir Emmerich and encourage him to send an envoy. Tataru, Kryle, I leave the care of our injured messenger to you. See that she remains quiescent and her wounds closed. I believe that covers everything. Let us be about our tasks. I suspect the ill tidings from Girabania will be held as a turning point. The beginning to a bloody end. The business of war was ever conducted with the coin of self-sacrifice. T'was Master Louis Soir himself who taught us that such costs are not to be ignored or denied. And so, I shall embrace them. When the time comes, I will make my choice, as you will yours. <laughs>